Hello everyone and welcome to City Skylines where we get to try, at least I get to try my best at making a uh, city for you all here in sandbox mode with some mods and we're just gonna try and jump right into it. So over the past week or so I've been sculpting out a rough uh, terrain for us to use and we are up here at pretty much the tallest peak right now taking a look at uh, what I'm calling the Tri-Delta Valley and it is a singular large river that is split between a couple mountain ranges and then it kind of funnels out into the ocean so we have a lot of hillside kind of landscape going on we have a lot of valleys and things like that um, the main reason I want this terrain is because it's a little challenging I don't have to uh, just build on this perfectly flat area um, you know the world isn't flat so to me it's gonna be interesting to try and tackle this now I know it's gonna be really hard in city skylines uh, just due to the terrain tools and how uh, items interact with the terrain but hopefully we're gonna be up for it it's gonna be a bit of a challenge so Beyond that, um, we are of course in kind of an alpine-esque theme. So a lot of evergreens around, uh, still plenty of oaks and things like that. There will be a link in the description down below on where you can get a, your hands on this map itself. It is designed for all 81 tiles. So do not um, try this without that mod because there's no default highway running through here. Um, in fact, I only have just entry points so for example, up here, this is um, where we're gonna start today. And this is just an entrance exit point. And then we just have a few other ones. We do have some rail connectors as well. So we will be adding rail lines and things like that. But you can see a lot of treacherous terrain to try and uh, tackle. So if you're interested and you wanna try and build a city along with me, go ahead and download the map with the link down below. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started. What I want to do is try and make a bunch of small communities along this fairly large river that's going across here and um, see where we can go. Uh, initially, let's go ahead and start, I guess, on this entryway here. Uh, here in the beginning, I'm thinking we should probably stick to a little bit of real time. If you guys want, I can definitely do speed builds, um, but for now, I kind of want to take it slow just because I am a little uncomfortable um, with City Skylines currently. I've been struggling for the past eight hours, one, finishing the map, and then two, trying to get mods to actually function. I want to eventually Ryko the whole map, um, so hand place every building, no growables. So I'm currently working on that and getting that functioning. But I think we'll just lay out some roads today and talk about where we want. So we have a couple options. Uh, the first kind of town is going to be in this uh, valley here and we want to create a, a national road um, not a really heavy highway because this is a definitely a rural location and so we have a couple options we can take the road up to the north into the mountains and kind of wind it along there which will look cool it also leaves a whole bunch of room down here for the town so we don't have to split the town in half we can run the road straight through the middle of the town which is believable there are plenty of towns built upon national roads and things like that so you know that is a perfectly reason reasonable solution we can also run it down to the south along the river and that still opens up the whole area there so I think right now I prefer to keep the road maybe up up high a little bit. Now we're not going to go crazy high into the mountains because that is going to be, I guess, more trouble than what it's worth to construct. But we will try our best at uh, staying right along the foothills of it so we can create a little bit of a winding path here. Now the nice thing about the national road, since it's just a two-lane highway, we don't have to worry about uh, those connecting ramps too much so let's do uh, 11 by 11 here and we're just we're just gonna follow up into the valley a little bit 
Now, if you guys have ever seen like Google images of say Japan or anywhere that uh, they build a lot in the foothills or where they have all this limited space, you're going to um, get that hopefully the same feeling. Um, it's what I'm kind of going for here with how these things are turning out. So we'll go nine and nine. Okay, that's a, that's a little steep there, bud. Let's maybe 13 and 13. Let's uh, try and just do a natural bridge here to prevent uh, a whole bunch of craziness from happening. And to get this smoother, I'll, I'll try and possibly create a more natural bend. Or we might have to go into the terrain tool. We'll probably have to go into the terrain tool. Sometimes you just have to do this kind of stuff here. So we'll set that as the height. And do a quick ramp. And hopefully this will assist with all this. Now it's pretty interesting to watch the trees kind of spin here when we are raising the terrain up. Um, that's the random tree rotation mod, I believe, that's kind of causing that to happen. There we go. That is a much more gentle slope. Now it's fine to have such a steep grade um, right now. I'm not too necessarily worried about it. But now we're up into the actual hills proper. So we'll go 10 and 10. There we go. Yet another section of uh, highway going way too high up there. So maybe we'll just do 10 uh, straight 10 there. And I think that's as far as I'll probably take it for now. So eventually we'll have this really cool uh, road up here in the foothills overlooking a lot of the greenery, uh, the mountains and things. So th hopefully that'll look pretty cool. Let's smooth some of this out a little bit. There we go. We don't want it to be a direct cliff face. And we can even go into the props tool here. I do have uh, the prop line tool installed. So if I go to search, uh, we have guardrails. So let's think about a guardrail to potentially use. I think this is a good one. Uh, let's go uh, prop anarchy here. It doesn't want to place that all too nicely. A little weird. Hmm. It's like it doesn't want to place it on these roads. I don't know why. So, let's see here. Options. Ah, oh, there we go. Turn, turn Anarchy on on the actual tool itself I think that will yes that looks like it fix it so it's kind of hard to get the uh, spacing of this angle correct without anything to really go off of there we go I'm just gonna take a couple little tries but we do want this guardrail here uh, you don't want people to just Kind of fall off the uh, cliff face by any means. All right, and I just want it on the other side, uh, pretty much following exactly along the edge of the dirt of the terrain. All right, and I think about here, we can call it the end. So let's see if this prop will work out for us. This little end girdle rail, though we use the double one. So that is going to look maybe a little, a little weird. Let's go ahead and zoom in 
this. Guardrail end cut. Ah, here's here's the actual proper double end. There we go. This will look a lot better than whatever it is I was trying to Frankenstein together there. And if you guys know me from Planet Coaster, you know that I like to try and get a little too accurate sometimes with the, with the uh, props and um, lose a lot of time with that. Whoa, FOV is uh, being a little weird there. There we go. You guys know that I can get a little rambunctious with uh, over detailing areas, but hopefully that doesn't cost us too much time. A little hard to get these things to line up perfectly, but we will quickly go into move it. Um, anything but trees here. And just select this all at once. Just uh. Move this into place a little bit better. There we go. Because eventually I do want to have like these cool scenes of of uh, going along these roads and overlooking things. And when the town's actually here and that all these trees are quite in your way, it will hopefully look pretty cool for you guys. So let's uh, let's continue the road just a hair more. Okay, 15 and 15. Whoa. I think uh, prop anarchy there is causing those trees to remain, but that's okay. And it will be nice to have this little dip uh, down off the mountains because that'll create a good junction point for more people to get on and off this freeway here as a good bypass to the general town. Uh, let's go 140. I think that's a, that'll be a good slope grade there. I'll have to flatten this section out just real quick. More terrain tools. There we go. This ramp tool is so handy, and I really wish Planet Coaster had such an item. Cool. And then we'll just kind of delete all these little trees in the way. So that's the Northern Pass. Uh, we can name these highways. Right now, it's kind of on the default, so right now it's just called Heather Way. Um, I'm gonna leave them on default for now, and we'll see about possibly naming some after you guys. Um, I think that'll be a cool thing to do, but uh, it is a bit of a process. So, um, for the remainder of the episode, let's let's lay out some of the beginning roads of of our first town. No clue what we're gonna call our town, but we can put some roads here. I'm going to use dirt roads here initially because they are kind of the most robust and easiest to work with when designing these things. You know, we want to keep things a little country. So 12 by 12 there. So we're going to designate just a nice kind of perimeter road following the more curve of the terrain. And then we'll grid a little bit into the interior here eventually. Let's, um, let's go into the prop tool again and turn off this. 
real quick. See if that allows uh, the roads to delete some of these trees. Because I don't want to go back in and manual delete these every time. That would get a little annoying. And I'm sure there are a lot of people out there that are far better at City Skylines than I. Uh, any feedback and suggestions, of course, are appreciated. And here we can get this a nice little little rotate there. Yeah, yep, yeah, nope. It's not deleting the trees anymore. This might be uh, the prop anarchy tool just being on in general. So that is access point number one into the town. This, we're gonna follow this shelf. So we will go, what, 15 and then, I would bend it more, but it doesn't look like that would be good. So let's add a straight section first. So we're gonna go straight 15 units. And I'm fine with the road being a little bumpy here. You know, you're not, you're not gonna find this perfect terrain. Oh, my, uh, my tool didn't wanna snap two degrees there. I guess 140 be a good angle. 139.9. About as close as one can get. Yeah, so I'm fine with this kind of rippling across here. Though we can always just go in to the uh, move it tool here. And not necessarily completely raise it up because there is problems with the movement tool if you do um, adjust it too greatly. But we can raise and lower it just a little bit just to smooth out some of the kinks. Doesn't have to be necessarily perfect. I think uh, this node could be raised up by about one, two, three clicks. And this one, maybe we can just kind of straighten that out just a little bit there. Yeah, and we can upgrade this road from dirt again. Not necessarily worried about that. So from here, this is still kind of following the perimeter. I guess we'll go straight and let's go ahead and force the uh, ground elevation here. See if we can't force this to go into a bridge. And just raise this up like that because you know this this is all built on a water shelf and a lot of the water would flow down from the mountains and rejoin the river here so uh, it might make sense to have some bridges there and we might end up uh, making these look reasonable I do like these little wooden bridges. They look pretty nice. I might leave that, um, to be honest. We might add one, maybe two more, depending on how that goes. It's pretty funny how in every building game, it feels like you spend a lot of time essentially kind of flying around relatively quickly and then uh, just making sure the overall feeling of the structures are correct and proportional so six and tape this up six and we will then straighten this out by 15 i guess we'll just have a straight bend there and then this will 
be the other connection point straight on to that freeway there. So this this uh, international kind of highway um, area will just bypass this whole little town in general and will connect at either end and the town will be kind of in the middle of it, which would be cool. Let's update this little southern road though because I wouldn't mind it just being a two lane. Now we could update it with trees and things to try and make it look fancy. Um, I don't necessarily agree with that. I think just I think just the grass will work out. We might do a, a custom tree placement just so I can use uh, the trees I downloaded that'll match the terrain a little bit more. I did try and use tree replacer. Ooh. Uh, let's do that. Yeah, okay. I have to use the same settings when I upgrade a road that I did when I laid it out. I have to remember that. Let's see, can I... I think I can. Ooh, look at that. We get little box, box bridges. That's pretty cool. And then this will be the uncovered version. That would be forest tunnel. That's not what we want to do. We'll, we'll leave it uh, the uncovered version. I think that'll be pretty nice. What's the speed limit on this section? Looks like 30 and uh, no parking along this avenue at all which would be good this is more of an access point now i'm sure traffic will try and go this way uh, but i get the feeling that a lot of people will they need to bypass the town they'll actually kind of come off the map and then stay in this upper section at least that's what i'm banking on um i don't know if that's going to come to fruition but we'll see other than that, let's uh, let's lay out some grids. So we'll just keep it boxy uh, initially here. We might round up off some of these corners. This could, in theory, uh, be counted as what I plan to be the more busy Main Street area, or at least one of them. We might have two kind of parallel uh, lines just to give these guys options. Yeah, we'll do 90 and then just connect that straight onto where that row is going to be. And where's my grass road again? There it is. Oh, well, that's the one-way version. Let me get the two-way. And we'll just update this to a normal kind of two-lane road. Again, trying to keep the small town feel over the... the proper city. Again, this will... This will be kind of a self-containing little town. We'll connect over, go across the ridge, uh, maybe have some industrial parks along here, and then maybe another small town connecting this point. And we'll just slowly walk down the river. I think that'll be somewhat cool looking. At least I hope so. I don't like this long bend. Doesn't really match the rest of the road though. So we're gonna try and curve it more. Highway. Give me my national road. So nine. Oh, six and six might be good. Then we can go nine or ten and ten there. There we go, and we'll try and just kind of follow the spine 
for a moment and do seven and, and seven. I think in theory that looks a little bit better than, well, it's basically the same. Let's see if we can't get this to hug it a little bit closer. So straight section maybe? Straight uh, five units and then we will curve it here. Let's do a straight slope, see if that does anything for us. So 90. So 13, we'll do uh, 10. And a 10. And a bit of a wider angle. I think, I think that's a little bit more of an interesting shape, at least, for now. All right, let's just finish laying out some grid. And then uh, next episode, we can worry about actually detailing this whole thing out for you guys. So let's round this out first. Seven, seven, straight, just like that. Leave those. We will round that out, smooth that. Really smooth this, so six by six. This one we'll do what eight eight by eight and then connect it there. It's funny how you have to do certain tricks sometimes just to get roads to behave. That's fine to have a more gentle slope there, maybe. Nine and 13. Okay, so we essentially have our two main thoroughfares. All the other streets will just be smooth concrete kind of items. So let's think. Um, I want a town center and nice if this was based off this line here so if we go oh 20 20 units by 10 20 so this is kind of uh, the central location that I want to use to start making some sort of pattern off of That'll kind of spider web out into the center. Of course, having it connect at 90s would be pretty handy. Um, let's run this one. Maybe connect it to that. That'll be kind of interesting. All right. And from here, no clue what I'm doing. When it comes down to road networks and trying to get this stuff all sorted out, I am pretty bad at it. Let's just update this. Just to let traffic through a little quicker because I'm sure people want to take shortcuts through here and then everything else will be kind of self-contained off of these streets um, and just be simple streets themselves. So let's just 
do a node here. I mean, I could do that. Uh, let's then come out uh, 45 there. And let's copy the same shape. 90. Here, let's run something like that. Shape there. And since I'll be hand placing a lot of these uh, buildings, this will hopefully look kind of interesting. So that's a nice little neighborhood type area and we'll just split this here. I don't want to have too many four-way junctions. I want to try and stick to three ways I think for now. And having the outside be curved and the inside very square I think that'll be a, a neat little layout to have. Oh this that didn't come off straight at all. Let's try this again. 90-90. There we go. Go back here. Something like that. No, maybe this one will be the first kind of four way. Nah, don't like that. I don't like that weird intersection we were getting there. There's a nice common point. I think this is a good point to use. Something like that, and maybe a four-way there. That'll be fine. So I'm going with some diamond shapes, some square shapes. something like that that'll look pretty cool you can then only problem is this is a a stop sign followed by well I guess it's all kind of stop signs here go back to the straight line tool I think yeah. I shouldn't have anything come off that corner I don't Function. Something. Probably make that a four way. We have we have a couple four ways, but a lot more three ways um, than that. And here we might as well just do bop and bop. We can take this corner. Straighten this out here. Yeah. I think that will, will kind of be our first little layout. And I hope you guys have enjoyed kind of uh, the first episode of City Skylines. I know I'm slow at it. 
um, but do stick with me as we progress. Uh, if you guys want to see speed builds, let me know that. Um, this is kind of the pilot episode where you guys are more notified that the map can be downloaded now. You can uh, kind of see what we're going to be going for here in this series. It's going to be a long series because if I'm going to be hand placing a lot of these details, it is going to be quite the experience. Probably even longer than Alpine Odyssey if you think about it. So here is the first town. Don't know what to call the town, but it is going to be a town nonetheless. If you guys enjoy this kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more creative goodness such as this. Go ahead, uh, hit that like button so I know you guys want to see a lot more City Skylines in the future. And subscribe um, to my Twitter if you want updates on what I'm working on. So until then, thank you guys and I'll see you all in the next episode.